Okay, let's do some practice on port scanning. Open your terminal window and then type in map 192.168.174. By the way, double check your IP address because it's probably different than 174 in your case. And then 131 for my exploitable and 132 for Windows 7. I don't want DNS resolution and I want TCP scan. Okay. As you see, Nmap found out the ports which are open or closed. But in this case, all we see is open ports. I pressed up arrow on my keyboard and then let's also try this SYN scan. Although you don't have to type SS because this is the default option. So you can simply delete it and use this version instead. It's much faster. Great. Now that we know the basics of port scanning types, let's take a look at how we can select the ports which we want to discover. You have probably realized there are lots of open ports in Metasploitable. There's a reason behind this, of course. Most of them are vulnerable, which we will exploit them in the upcoming sections. But in most cases, we would want to find out specific ports to check whether they are open or not. And the parameter to specify ports is no surprise dash P like this. All you have to do is, for example, for a SYN scan or a TCP scan dash P and then type the ports like 21, 22, 23, etc. Of course, there's no dot here at the end. This is the command which you can use to scan a network or hosts with these specific ports, not the others, only these one. So, okay, practice time. Please find out the open ports 21, 22, 139, 445, and 3389 on these machines, on your victim machines, Metasploitable and Windows 7. Okay, this is a do-it-yourself part and I will see you shortly to show the results correct answer. Perfect, you did it right. Let's do it together once more to show the results. A map 192, 168, 174, 131, comma 132, dash n, dash ss, although this is optional, as I told before, dash p, 2 in 1, 22, 139, 445, 3389. Okay, what happened to this 132? Uh huh, I don't see my Windows machine here. So probably it automatically shut down. So I need to boot it up again. For some reason, this happens to Windows 7 machine. So don't worry if you also don't see any response for your Windows machine here. Okay, let's try once more. Uh -huh. Now I have it. For 131, Metasploitable, and 132, Windows. Okay, let's check out the findings. There are open ports, like this. Filtered, port, filtered ports, which in our case, we don't see any, but you will see when you start your penetration testing campaigns in, in your real life, and also closed ports. But what do they mean? Open port is, well, open port. There are services running on these ports which are accepting connections, like this one, this one. These are the treasure for pen testers. In closed ports, destination hosts send back reset ACK and forces to terminate the connection. This indicates there is no service on that port. 
The closed port is accessible. It receives and responds to nmap probe packets, meaning that no firewall blocking the connection in between. There is no application which can communicate with us in closed ports. But in filtered ports, things are a bit more complicated. First thing to say about filtered port is nmap cannot determine whether the port is open because packet filtering prevents its probes from reaching the port. The filtering could be from a dedicated firewall device, router rules, or host-based firewall software, etc. One last thing about port scanning before closing the lecture. In the first scan, we didn't provide any port, yet nmap showed us some results. Do you know how did that happen? Well, the reason behind such behavior is because nmap uses some default ports to scan, if not provided by you. By default, nmap scans top 1000 ports. You can try this on your own, like this. I delete this part and then type dash dash top dash ports 1000. So nmap tried top 1000 ports to find if there is any open service on these machines. You can also change this and let's say scan top 10 ports. As you see, the list is short, much shorter than the previous one. But how about being greedy and scanning all the ports? This can be rewarding if system administrators hide some services by changing the default ports, which is actually a pretty good action. So you can do this like this, dash P one dash 65, 535. Okay, this will take some time, so you should also do it carefully. Also, it will be much more likely that you will caught by intrusion detection systems if you scan every port like this. Wait until this operation completes and then, okay, I already see my results. You also wait until this operation completes and then continue to the next lecture.